and welcome back to my channel guys um so jumping on this morning um i've just literally jumped into game about an hour after our maintenance um taking us from s1 to s2 so just thought since so i've just jumped on um i'll jump on with you guys and we will run through some of the powers of season two um let's see which clans we got in season two let's see what strong players we got in season two um and let's have a little insight to how this season's going to go um, so what we'll do, we'll start off, we'll drop straight into Season 2 and we'll see who we are with. So, as we can see, we have 665, 666, 667 and 668. So as expected, we've got the regions we thought we'd get. Um, as everyone knows, um, 666 is a very powerful active region. Um, so I do feel a little bit sorry for some of these guys. Um, they are up against a really, really strong region. Um, always knew S2 would be a little bit of a... A tough one for some of the other regions that are with us uh, but as the seasons progress hopefully matchmaking will get to a stage where 666 will get ma matched with some powerful some other powerful regions um so that we don't just instantly dominate everything and that's not saying we are going to with s2 we are still obviously first day of s2 going live um we might be completely shots we might see some real powerful clans from some of these other regions um but i i think we all know that 666 stands a very strong chance of s2 um, so let's just jump straight into some of the clans. Let's have a look see what some of the clans look like. Um, let's go into clan power to start with. So this clearly is showing what I've just said. Um, 666, I'd say, very, very active, very powerful, as we all know. So we've got the top clans. Evo, still top number one. War is still number two. Dev still number three. We've got one of War's other second clans. is number four. Evo, four is number five. Order 66, still sat there at um, position 6. And then we start trickling down to some of the other clans from the other regions. So from clan rank 8, um, we've got Star from 665. Um, just taking a quick look, they've got a couple of strong players right at the top there. Um, not majorly strong, um, but it looks like they have developed well in their region. I've got to remember 665 was where a lot of us 666 players started from. We jumped in 665, got our town halls to level 6. Sat and waited patiently. Um, I say patiently, it annoyed the life out of some of us. But we were sat patiently waiting to jump. So unfortunately, I think at least 70 to 75% of region 665 did jump to 666. So I do feel a little bit for 665. Uh, but still, you can see here, they have still continued to develop well, this top clan. A um, couple of players up there, 23, 24 mil. Whether they've touched their animal system yet this morning, I don't know. Because obviously, as we all know, with the animals launching in S2... Um, I'd managed to jump myself about 8 mil this morning alone. No, well, no, sorry. Um, probably about 4 mil this morning alone just by playing around with some dogs. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if, if these guys have taken on the challenge of dogs yet. So that was Starlight, sat in number 8. Um, number 9, we've got another 666 clan, Evo 3. We've got a 667 clan, sat in 10th. Um, they've got Lionheart in there, Kirkin. 33 mil, so we've got a few more higher powered, a couple of higher powered players in here, 33 mil and 32 mil. Um, and then they're all trickling down to like some average players. Uh, we've got an 11th, 11th we've got Mist. So yeah, a couple of 22, 25 mil players. Um, how are we looking then? 13th, we've got Order 68. Um, 14th, we got Moon from 667. Then we got another 666 clan, Evo 2 and 15th. Um, I say there in 16th, we got Mad from 667. Um, again, a couple of players at the top with quite nice power. Um, but unfortunately for them, nothing nothing huge like we got with Shiro and Peacemaker here in 666. Um, Kama, 666. APCL from 665. 329 mil in total, and then some it ranked 19 with 285 together. <clears throat> and then our trolls from region 666 sat in 20. Um, so, as you can see, uh, as expected, 666 still dominate this leaderboard. Let's jump into clan kill, see if it's the same here. So, yeah, Evo, Order 66, Dev, all taking the top three, top four with wars. Uh, where are we two? We're going all the way down to rank seven where we got mods. Um, 668 sat there with 9 mil kills uh, order 68 Evo so yeah in the top 10 we've only got one other clan from another region um, 
So obviously, where where a lot of us in six 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 are very experienced players, we know where to go for kills. We know how to gain kills. We got to remember with some of these other regions around us, um, there could be a lot of new players within these regions that have never played the game before, still picking up the game. Um, so this this could easily change once these new players learn the basics of the game and start advancing a little bit. Um, they could catch up on a lot of this. <clears throat> so season two will be interesting. Clan prosperity. Um, this doesn't dictate a massive amount. So obviously the quieter the region, the more cons and that you can pick up. So six six six, where we've got so many different re uh, sorry different clans, the comms are spread out a bit more. So the top few rankings, we've got six six eight mods at the top with thirty one. I'd imagine they're one of the only active clans in their region. They picked up all the high level comms. Um, same as six six seven with mad twenty nine thousand sorry thirty one thousand for mods twenty nine thousand for mad. Miss sat there with twenty five thousand. Star then with 20,000, and then we start dropping down to Evo, um, who is head of 666 with 19,000. Um, so we can't tell a massive amount about Clans Prosperity for Season 1, because it's irrelevant, to be fair. doesn't make much difference. Season Prosperity, parity, obviously none of us are going to be in there. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these players, shall we? Um, let me load up the player rankings. So let's go for overall power. So as we see, we got our Shiro there sat at the top still. 120 million power now. Again, I don't know if he's yet played with the dogs. I think looking at that, he might have started playing, but whether he's done some serious work on that, it's a different story. Peacemaker still sat there again with 84 million. And then we drop down to our other powerful players in 666, but they're not quite there um, when it comes to Shiro and Peacemaker. But we've got Sutuk, uh, Anthony there with 48 mil, Goku Black 43 mil, Sophia with 38 mil. Our good old leader Sullivan sat there with 37 mil. Slapnuts 37, YBC 34, Seth 34, and then once we get down to rank 11, we've then got a player from 667. This is Kirkin. Don't know if I'm saying that. Uh, Kirkin, yeah, maybe, possibly. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, cool little avatar image, I think. Nice little pick. Um, but he sat there with 33 mil power. Um, so Ken definitely wouldn't class him as a major spender. He might throw a little bit in the game, but with 33 mil, certainly not a spender like we've got here in 666, like our Shire and Peacemaker. But again, if he has dedicated time and energy, he is doing really, really well at 33 mil. Let's have a quick look at his clown when he's in one. Um, again, sat there at the top, like we've seen when we go through the rankings at 33 mil. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can have a little look at his survivors in a minute, see what he is cooking up. Just check a few more on these. Um, so we got our Broban there, uh, 33 mil. Go down to another one from 667 Scorpio, 32 mil. <clears throat> and then a couple more, a few more 666. You know, quite a few 666 players there um, until we get to. Oh, we're scrolling now, we're scrolling. Yeah, unfortunately, we're scrolling quite a bit. Um, a lot of it is 666 players here at the top. <coughs> Uh, we've got a 667 player there in rank 34, 25 mil. And um, then another one there, a 668 player at 35th rank with 25 mil. Um, so unfortunately for the other regions, um, they haven't really got the power of 666. Uh, I'm hoping, and I can't see it happening, that 666 is going to go all out um, and fight the life out of these other regions. We are very powerful, we know that, we are very active. But we also are respectful players here in 666. Um, and I'm sure with Shiro, the little bit I do know about Shiro, I'm sure he's not going to allow, allow this to be a bloodbath. We're not going to go out there and actually hammer every other region. Um, obviously, if there is some clans in the other region that do get a little bit cocky, a little bit mouthy, um, we might then start hammering them a little bit harder. Um, but I don't think our intentions will be to try and destroy all these other regions as hard as we can. It just wouldn't be fair. Um, we all know that we are a powerful region here in 666, but we're also very experienced players. We're players which... There's a lot of respectful players. We have got a few pain in the ass players, should I say. Um, what region doesn't? But overall, we are a very respectful region. So I can't see us going out absolutely hammering everyone. Um, it just wouldn't be fair. Um, but we, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it, see how it goes. Um, so let's just jump into the combat survivors. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these higher-powered ones from the other regions. Um, so we know we've got good old Shiro up there. I am going to do a bit more detailed video in regards to Shiro and Peacemaker, show you all their stuff in a bit more detail, so I won't jump into that here. Let's just take a proper look at these other regions. So looking at combat survivors, we're looking at 666 all the way down to 
just there in rank 10 where we've got Nick Harley um, sat there with 25 mil let's have a little look at his survivors so he sat there with uh, nothing majorly unusual um, he's done well with his hometown heroes and um, got them ranked 74 each at uh, level 74 each what's got Rosita under there at 59 Abraham with 54 and Holly there with 54 as well He's done well with his governor, got his governor to level 50, 54. Good work on that. His Negan's also looking nice at 49. Pumping a bit of money into Majan. He's got Majan at level 42. Um, our adventurer Laura there, it's 24. Pamela there at 19 and Glenn at 15. So it doesn't look like he's majorly spending a lot of money on those two down there, Glenn or Pamela. Uh, well, Glenn, Pamela obviously need the fragments. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, doesn't look like we've got any Ezekiels from the other regions, um, which is a shame because it is going to penalise them. We have got a lot of Ezekiels again in 666, and I think these regions knew that. Um, but if we're just going down again, um, 666, 665, Daredevil there. Again, strong hometown heroes up to 69. So not majorly strong, but he is pushing them. If we've got any spending on survivors, doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, Majon maybe a little bit on Majon level 30 uh, but again doesn't look like anything there it's gonna cause much hindrance um, obviously the next important one is vehicles let's see what vehicles they've got in region um, so 666 again dominating the top rankings um, we've got a few police trucks there or 665 just there in eight oh no sorry six six oh yeah six six five sorry guys just make sure I'm not missing around here yeah they're 665 and 8. Um, in Welsh. But he's gained that by obviously just his normal vehicle. So again, no police trucks there. Um, so there we have it, guys. I think, unfortunately, what we all thought um, is true. 666 absolutely dominating every single ranking in Season 2. Um, so it's going to be a very, very easy season for us. Um when I say easy, it also coincides with very boring because if we haven't got really any major fights, we're hopefully some of these clans will pop up a few little fights. Uh, potentially, we can stick to buildings only. Um, but obviously, with kill event, we can go out and have some fun. Um, no rules have actually been set yet between these regions, so I don't actually know what's happening. Um, but that just gives you a bit of overview, guys, of how the rankings are looking. As I, I think, as I've said, I think it's a lot like a lot of people were expecting. Um, 666 will it will be a walking apart for us um but again it'll be fun and it's another good chance for us all to develop time for us all to develop all of us to push through um so there is going to be plenty of time there this is how our rise of tensions are looking at the moment obviously this has only been running for a few hours well not even two hours yet um all of them looking pretty even to be fair out the other region 666 again pushing ahead Again, where we're so active, we are dropping these items very, very frequently between players. Um, so again, it's a no-brainer we're going to dominate this. But it's still going to be interesting to watch the other three regions. Let's see who is the powerful and who is the active regions out of the other three. Um, so yeah, since I've been on here, it is clocking up every time. Especially 666 and say where we're so active, it's always clocking up on there. Uh, should chuck mine on while we're here. Uh, we're not going to use any special tactics, I don't think, at the moment. So we'll just chuck some stuff in destroy i always go for the one which is nearest to us we've got them there four seven eight take him down so there we have it go guys here's some that's some of the clans that we got with us in um season two for six 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 just quickly load that back up again to give you guys a quick scroll through one last time what we got obviously the main important one the clan power so this I think it will dictate who we've got and who will be a challenge um, and I'd say unfortunately 666 dominating this leaderboard but hopefully it should be a good season Battlefield chat at the minute behaved itself so in regards to my mod duty it's not a huge amount to do I'm sure that will change over time I'm sure a few of our trolls will end up in Battlefield chat but as always us mods will shut them down as quick as we can like we always do um, but I'm looking forward to the season too um, I've been looking forward to the dogs going live today I do enjoy adding the dogs to the game adds a bit more challenge a bit more um improvement on what we've already got there s2 tech also gone live um 
but again, I very rarely touch S2 tech. I prefer to concentrate on my specific troop types and pumping my flask in there like a lot of people do. So there we have it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video as always. Remember to subscribe for more content coming up. Um, any help you need in game, feel free to reach out to me. You've got um, the comments below this video. Also, also reach out to me on Discord, Reaper, 184, hashtag 8910. But most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, get reminders when I post new content. Um, I hope to see you all in game soon. Take it steady, guys. Have a good one.